What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy J to the R. Got another video for you. But before I get into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can watch my other videos. Hit that notification bus button. And don't forget to check out my podcast if you want to hear some of the stuff I'm saying, plus many more. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, you name it. But anyway, enough of that. Let's dive right into this video. So what we're going to be doing in this video is really for a beginner uh, Cubase elements or Cubase period user. What I'm going to show you how to do is a fairly quick way to turn your MIDI drum tracks and really you can use this for any uh, VST that you're using and record it into your system that you're recording as MIDI. I'm going to show you how to turn that into an audio file and to import it back into your DAW Cubase. Because a lot of times what you want to do, you want to record it in MIDI but now, once you got your track done, you want to bring that loop into an audio loop. So now you can add effects, you can do all of this, you can manipulate it a lot easier. You can do separate drum tracks, or you can just do a whole drum loop. In this particular case, I'm going to show you how to do an entire drum loop. So like I said, this is a very beginner tutorial, but somebody somewhere don't know how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's find some drums. Then I can bang it out real quick. That didn't sound right. Let's, see. Let's just use that kick. We'll we'll use that same old hi hat that everybody else used. That's loud in my ear. And we'll use the same old uh, clap that everybody else used. In case you're wondering, in order to get this these sounds over here, which are which is audio, to get them over here without importing as audio, and to be able to import these drum samples as to where you can play them out as MIDI, is to right-click, create sample track. If you go down here to insert into project, you're going to insert that audio loop into here and you can't manipulate it in MIDI. So you got to right click on your mouse on the sample you want to use and, and click create sample track. It'll bring it over here. It'll show up down here so you can edit it a little bit more for whatever reason. And now, see, it doesn't spread it across your keyboard and now you can play it. So, now we got that out the way. So we got a clap a hi hat. We'll leave the tempo what it is. I'm just gonna do this track real quick. A little quick drum track. What I do, and again, I'm doing this with my mouse. The keyboard is over there. I'm not I didn't feel like hooking it up, but I can get the job done just the same. So what I'm going to do is use my pencil to draw what I've already had a box to work with. We're going to do two beats and so we're starting at one to three that's a length of two on the kick and we're going to do the same thing with the other one should be a little bit easier because now I know. So now the way I did that the reason why I did that is because now I can come down here click on that hi-hat make sure I'm on the hi-hat now, see, look at that. I can come down here and do this. Make this a little bigger. And since this is a hi hat, we'll just extend one. Use the knife. Ah, did not work as planned. Use the scissors and just cut it up. We don't need the metadata for what we're doing. That's just a nice click, one, two, whatever. And if you plan on this, how you plan on doing your beats, you got to make sure you got the uh, quantization set right. Now it's on eighth because I don't want to make it too sharp. I set it to sixteen. You can add some sixteenths in there. know what I'm saying to where it sounds like this and 
and so forth. Got that. Let's just. Ugh. Oh, uh, way up here. I need to be down here. What an idiot. We'll add that. That should be good enough for that. Now we want to come down here and select the clap. So we'll click on that. And since we are in double time, that's a good enough. It should be that and that. So that's right in the middle of one and two. It's as simple as that. So now we got that done. Then we'll come over here to kick. The kick you may have to adjust because once you start doing the beat, you may want to change the key. Let's see how that sounds. I don't know why it's not going back to the beginning, but. That's ugly. So we want to move that. We already know that this clap is right in the middle. So you don't want to put the bass drum right there unless it's intentional. Okay, so we got that. So that's just a little basic loop. We can go out. Very basic. Changing up a little bit. Okay, so that's that. Again, I'm just making this little simple beat to show you. So now what you want to do is set your loop markers. Um, that's going to be, we're going to bring this back because you want to make sure you're either doing two, four, eight, and whatnot. Otherwise, it's going to throw you off when you are punching, when you, uh, and you lose. So we got this basic loop. We'll speed it up a little bit just for the sake, just for good measure. So now that you got that loop, come over here to File, Export, Audio Mix Down, which you probably already know, and then you'll name it drum loop this is also a good way like if you want to instead of doing beats if you want to make your own loops and sell them boom this is a good way to do it you can use these same kicks snare and claps and then uh just keep doing loops on the same track because you're saving them as audio you don't even really have to import them but if you want to process them a little bit then you want to import them once you're done done it's just a real quick way to get your flow going so then once you do that, you'll want to select, come down here to, to the bottom and select pool and audio track. Because if you don't select do that, it's not going to add it into here. And if you're over here, you can decide on whether you want to split those channels left and right or if you want it in mono. This can really be in mono since I didn't do no panning. But uh, for the sake of discussion, we'll leave it in stereo and then you click export copy the working directory yep hit ok cancel out of that boom there's your drum loop mm. 
now if say you could now you can uh, go to your mixer console if you so choose to add your effects or whatnot EQ it a little bit do that whatnot add your compression whoopity whoop boop 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 doop boop, 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 boop. The world is yours. So there you have it, folks. That's how you take MIDI and convert it to audio and put it in the same session quick, fast. You can do that with instruments. You can do it with anything. Build your whole track out. You got a drum you loop. You can come back up here now. Delete this whole pattern whoop like that and make another pattern bring it down next thing you know you got 35 drum loops that you can make a drum loop pack and sell that bitch on the website game I just gave y'all a game quick game the hard part is the marketing part you got to do something different to make people want to buy your drum loops if they not fire in fact, I may start doing that my damn self. That's a good idea. Anyway, this is your boy J to the R. Like I said in the beginning, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you liked this video. I hope you was able to get something out of it. Keep coming back. Peace.